of boss babes and bosses out there so in this video i'm going to share with you what are the tasks monthly weekly daily ng isang social media manager so if you want to know what are those tasks then keep on watching okay guys so basically i'm really not in the mood na create ng video today because merong something na nangyari this morning lang about to work ko sa social media client ko kasi merong hindi pagkakaintindihan masyado actually not the client like yung parang kasama lang namin sa work basta i will not go into details muna because that is not the objective for this video siguro when i create a work vlog i'm going to share with you kung ano talaga yung whole na nangyari but i want you to know that freelancing is not really rainbows and butterflies always. Meron talagang times na masistress ka. <laughs> but I'm not discouraging you na wag kang mag-go into freelancing. Kasi I think lahat naman ng kind of work sometimes masistress ka talaga. Isa to sa mga araw na masistress ako. Meron kasi yung mga changes sa work, sa schedule, yung mga ganun. Anyway, let's just dive even sa mga tasks na need you gawin if you are a social media manager. By the way, siguro I'm also going to share then kung ano yun din yung mga usually ginagawa ng mga marketers if you are a marketer and not a manager so if you don't know what is the difference between manager and marketer and engager then you can check out this video here and yeah let's dive in magsisimula tayo sa task talaga nung part ng onboarding. Ito yung mga one-time task lang. I mean, siguro kung gagawin mo to ulit, hindi to every week or daily or monthly mo na gagawin. Siguro, let's say, yearly. So first, during the onboarding, you have to create an account and make sure na nagka-optimize siya based sa branding ng client. So if ever wala pa siyang branding or kaka-start pa lang talaga niya, you can create a simple branding para sa company niya. You can check out this video here. Here, that is also very detailed on how to create clients branding a very simple guide for you guys na pwede yung sundan and then you can work from there but if ever meron na si client ng mga social media accounts please do the audit first social media audit you can also check out this video here i've shared there kung paano talaga gumawa ng detailed social media audit and then optimize the profile from there Okay, so now let's proceed na sa monthly tasks talaga. So, ano ba yung mga ginagawa natin? Dapat na task every month. First, ito na yung magta-touch base kayo ni client. It's very important na mag-touch base kayo para alam nyo if you are on the same page. So, ano ba yung discuss dapat? First, you have to create your monthly analytics and make sure to include insights ha. Based then sa analytics and insights mo, dyan kayo magdi-discuss if you are going to adjust the goals for next month or hindi. You have to see kung doing well ba yung strategy nyo or hindi. Based on that analytics and insights, you will know if you have to adjust your strategy. Ano na ba yung next goal nyo next month? So, yeah. The strategy thing is more on the marketer side. But if your client is just a small business and ikaw na naghandle sa lahat, managing and marketing, which yan mostly yung nare-receive ko ng mga messages no, na you are doing the marketing and you are also doing the managing and all. But that's okay. Ganyan din ako sa mga previous clients ko sa social media. So, another task then na kailangan mong gawin monthly is to create a monthly calendar for your client. I would highly encourage na makita ni client yung parang overview for the whole month. Ano yung content na mapapublish for the whole month. Other thing pa is that you have to create an advanced content for approval. Maganda if you can create the whole month na no. That would be great. Pero it would be hard if daily kayong nagpo-post tapos gagawin nyo ng isang upuan lang yung 30 days of content. So, let's say at least 2 weeks ahead, gawin nyo yung content. When I say gawin nyo yung content that involves the graphic design or maybe the video clip or maybe the reels if you are offering the reels na services kay client and of course, the caption. Creating the copy. Again, it depends ha kasi merong clients na mas bet nila na sila yung gumawa ng caption and then you will just create the graphics. Meron ding client na mas bet niya siya mag-provide ng graphics and then you will create the caption. It's totally different and hindi to one size fits all. So, I want you to know na yung mga advices ko, just get kung ano yung feeling mo, maa-apply mo sa business mo. So, for example, ng monthly na ginagawa ng mga marketers is to plan the social media campaign sa business ni client. Ang purpose kasi ng social media campaign is to really boost the sales of the company. So, example of a social media campaign, ha? I'm not sure if you heard this one. If you are new to this channel, then maybe hindi nyo alam na nagkaroon on kami ng 31-day social media posting challenge last October 2021 to 
to November. We are encouraging aspiring newbie freelancers na mag-join sa campaign ng Boss of Fam where we are encouraging everyone to post straight for 31 days gamit yung digital product namin na 31 day minimalist. May suggested topic na meron ding mga hashtags that you can use. You will just have to edit the graphics and post it sa social media nyo para pwede nyong gawin as a portfolio and ipakita nyo kay client na kayo yung gumawa nun. You can check out this if you want to know about it. The campaign is already done pero yung digital product, we are still selling it and just message us if you want to avail that. And thank you, thank you so much pala yung mga sumali sa challenge natin and we are really so thankful na sumari kayo and nag-enjoy din kami doing that. And kung isa kayo sa mga bumili ng mga digital products namin, we are so, so, so thankful for your support. And just feel free to ask if you have any questions with regards to the products and how to use it because we provide recorded tutorials na kung paano siya gawin. So, yeah, that's that. So, for the weekly tasks naman, wala na kayong masyadong gagawin if nagawa niyo siya sa monthly na. Pero first, ang need niyo i-check from time to time is yung analytics weekly. Ano yung trend sa analytics niyo? So, you have to check if it's doing good or doing great. The next thing, I'm not sure if ginagawa niyo to always, pero sa akin, most of my clients right now, don't really need a weekly touch base. Pero if you are starting and the client is also starting, it would be really good if you will have a touch base weekly. Just to check if all the posts are being posted and maganda ba yung performance. Yeah, that's it. Kung hindi nyo natapos lahat, like for example, two weeks lang yung ginawa nyo for the monthly task. So you need to create another two weeks para for the whole month siya na content. Again ha, as what I always say, na hindi lahat the same sometimes mayroon clients siya lahat tapos ikaw lang yung mag-schedule don't forget to schedule ahead of time yung mga content nyo after na-approve ni client this is part din sa weekly no ng mga marketers make it a routine na kung pwede weekly i-check nyo yung nira nyo na ads sometimes mayroon clients na nag-hire talaga ng Facebook ads specialist pero mayroon din clients na kung ikaw ang social media manager nila ikaw na din yung mag-run ng ad that's the reality just make sure na always nyo i-check Kung pwede after 3 days or weekly, yung mga nirarun nyo ng mga ads. Just to make sure that the click-through rate is just small, then maganda yung engagements and maganda yung reach and feedback ng mga nagko-comment. So for the daily tasks naman, every day, wala talaga kayong masyadong gagawin. It's just first, make sure na yung na-schedule nyo ahead of time na post and na-publish kasi there are times na I'm not sure siguro may bug sa platform na napag-schedule niya na hindi siya nagpo-push through so you have to check. And then second, don't forget to respond and react sa mga nag-comment, sa mga nag-post, sa mga nagbigay ng reviews, sa mga nag-tag sa inyo. If merong nag-tag sa inyo and good review or good feedback, don't forget to share it. Yung mga ganun, like engaging with the community, engaging with the followers. It's very important so that makakuha kayo ng trust and makabuo kayo ng relationship with your audience or with your followers. That's so, so, so important. So, yan yung magiging daily task nyo. And, if you want to grab a PDF sa social media manager's job checklist or task checklist, then don't forget message us on our Facebook page and we will give it for free. So, yeah, hope you enjoy this video and hopefully naka-help to. If yes, don't forget to click the like button and leave a comment below. If you want to join our Facebook group, just research I'm ready to boss up by Brixui and don't forget to like our Facebook page at Boss of PH and follow us on our Instagram accounts at Brixley and at Boss of PH. So yeah, hope to see you guys on my next one. Bye!